So you want to start a photography business and you're wondering what you should name it. Here's three things you should keep in mind. One, if you're doing it with a partner, keep in mind that that partner might not always work out. I had a photography business with my ex-husband and we got divorced and it was named our two names. So keep that in mind if you're doing it with a partner. Whatever you name your business, they're going to think that's your name. So, for instance, I called my business Brooke Photography, but my first name is Heather. So everyone would assume my name is Brooke. So eventually, I just started going by Brooke. A lot of the times, photographers will make cute names based off their children's names, and this could potentially cause clients to be a little confused. If you plan on hiring more people for your photography business, like associates or affiliate shooters, you might want to name your business not your specific name. That way, if someone wants to book through your photography company, they're going to want the main person. But if it's something more generic, it's easier to sell the affiliate or the associate shooter. For instance, if your photography name is Brooke Photography, they're going to want Brooke. If your photography company is a broader name like Click & Co, I'm just using that as an example, then they're going to realize, oh, there's more than one photographer that has the same aesthetic. Hope these tips help. Like and follow for more ways to grow your photography business.